welcome. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Violet and I'm super excited to be able to participate in a challenge that is hosted by Mama Dares to DIY and co-hosted by Sweet Urban Rose and Terrarium and Craft. Now their challenge for us is to use mason jars or bottles for some DIYs. So I decided to use some uh, miniature mason jars for this project. So what I'm going to do first is basically use one of these canvas frames from Dollar Tree and all I did was remove the canvas paper itself and I just cut along the frame and I do save this canvas because I do use it for other projects. So I just went ahead and cut right along the edge of the frame because all I'm going to use for this DIY is the frame itself. And I decided to go ahead and just leave the staples in the back um, simply because this one, the staples were pretty well put in. So I just decided to go ahead and leave them in there instead of damaging the frame. But you can feel free to remove the staples if you like. Next, get some of your building blocks from Dollar Tree or some uh, Jingas if you have any of your larger size Jingas and use them to make a stand for your frame. As you can see, all I did was add some wood glue and a, a little bit of hot glue onto that Jenga block and placed one in the front and I'm going to place one in the back of my frame. Now this one right here is smaller, but this one is a building block from Dollar Tree, so you can use either one in order for you to make your stand. So just go ahead and place them a, one in the front and one in the back and just set this aside while we continue with our second part of this DIY. Next what we're going to do is grab one of these packages of little miniature mason jars. These are so adorable. They're at Dollar Tree right now and they're all glass, very well quality, very well made um, glass little mason jars and they actually have three different styles that I saw. This one's more of the shorter, fatter one. They also have a larger one, and then they have one that's a lot thinner. So those were the three that I saw. I don't know if there's any other sizes or styles, but if you know that there is, let us all know in the comments below. Um, that way we can kind of figure out which ones we want to use. So all I did was grab some jute twine, and I'm going to use four of these mason jars and I removed the lids and just set those aside and double knotted my jute twine around the opening of each one of these little min uh, miniature mason jars. And as you can see, I already added a little bit of florals into my mason jar. And what I did was use, it's kind of like a baby's breath flower that I already had on hand, but you can use any kind of small flower that you have on hand or you purchase at Dollar Tree, Michaels, any kind of craft store. Um, I'm sure you can find some or you can even add maybe some uh, moss in here and have just a greenery in there. That would be adorable and really pretty as well. So just continue adding your jute twine around each one of your mason jars. And as you can see, I added a little bit of glue onto the edge or the end of my mason, my jute twine. And I just did that just to make sure it stayed nice and secure onto each one of these mason jars. But that is completely optional. You don't have to do that part. And I wanted to take a moment really quick and just say congratulations to Mama Dares to DIY because she was super excited to be able to host this collaboration because it is her first time hosting a collaboration. So congratulations to you and I hope and wish you much more success on your channel. And also I hope you continue to make these collaborations so I can participate in them because I surely do love participating in all kinds of collaborations because it does help us DIYers to think outside the box and use things that we tend not to um, use or even just overlook these items. So it's really fun for us to use and do these collaborations. So once you're done with all of your little mason jars, and again, I used four, but you can use as many as you like, just go ahead and set those aside and grab your frame. Now you can paint your frame or you can stain it. That's what I'm doing. And just grab any kind of stain that you have on hand, or if you want the stain look and don't have any, 
Go ahead and grab the color of brown or white that you want to stain your wood, your frame, and then dilute it and that way you can get that stain effect and look onto your frame. So what I did was just give it one light coat of stain. So it dried pretty quick um, because it was, again, just one light coat of stain that I added onto my frame. But you can, again, paint these white, you can do them brown, pink, just depending on where you wanna place them and what style of decor uh, you have in your home. Or even as a centerpiece for a garden wedding or a baby shower, these would be adorable for that as well. So once you're done painting and staining your frame, go ahead and allow it to dry. Again, mine didn't take much time at all for it to dry but just go ahead and give yours the correct amount of time to dry. And then we can continue with our next step. So once it was all completely dry, what I did was grab my little mason jars that have the jute twine already on them, and I wrapped it around my frame on the top part. Now you can tie a knot, but what I decided to do was just wrap it around a few times and then add a little bit of hot glue. And just held it in place and allowed that, that glue to dry. And I did this just because that's the look that I was going for. But again, you can just eliminate the hot glue and just wrap it around a few times and tie a knot with your jute twine. Completely optional of how you want to do that. So once I did that and allowed that glue to dry, I just cut any excess jute twine from my frame. And I did this to all four of my um, mason jars. And I just did them in different uh, levels of from my frame so in other ones one was higher and lower and uh, I went on and on like that again you can use as many as you like they do come six in a bag or a package of these little miniature mason jars so you can even use all six if you like but for the look I was going for I was happy with just four another thing I wanted to let everyone know is I'm going to have a link for each one of the host and co-host channels down below so you can check out their channel after watching this one and also i'm going to leave a link for the playlist of this collaboration down below so you can go and check out everybody's diys and what they did with their jars or bottles that they're using for their diy which i'm super excited to go and watch myself to see what everyone came up with it's just so amazing to me how everyone has such different styles and comes up with such beautiful uh, decor with any kind of project that they're doing so yeah i'm super excited to watch it as well so let me know down below which uh one is your favorite on my channel which diy that i'm doing will you be making and for what are you going to use it as a centerpiece or as decor in your home? So this is the flower that I used and just put it inside the mason jar. And basically all I did was just cut it up in little sections and little pieces and place them inside that mason jar. Once I was done with that, of course, you can leave it as is and it looks adorable. But I decided to get these little fern leaves that also came in a bunch from Dollar Tree. And I went ahead and glued them onto the top of my frame just to cover up that jute twine that's up wrapped around the frame um, on the top. But if you don't want to use any of the greenery, you could even add some ribbons and make bows on top. With any project that you do with jute twine, uh, be very careful, but grab a lighter and just kind of run it through that jute twine just to give it more of a cleaner look. Um, but again, that's completely optional. You don't have to do that. I just like to do that with any kind of jute twine project that I do just to give it more of a cleaner look. So once that was completely dry, I went ahead and just placed my greenery around just to give me an idea of how I wanted it to be around my frame and then I hot glued it in place.
And if you don't feel comfortable using only hot glue for this project, feel free to use some super glue or fix all glue, um, any kind of permanent glue that you like. Again, I just added two little leaves to either side of my frame. I didn't want to add too much because I wanted it more of that simple farmhouse look. But um, yeah, you can feel free to add a bow, even more flowers, uh, more greenery. There's so many different options that you can do to make this personalize it for your home or your uh, party theme also. So once I was done with that, I wanted to add a little bit more of the white um, what I call baby's breath flower from Dollar Tree and I just placed a few little bunches on one corner adding it with some hot glue and then I decided to wrap a bow using some jute twine to add on the other corner and there you have it our first project is complete so adorable so our second project, again, I wanted to use these little mini glass mason jars. And what I did was grab another bag and I'm going to go ahead and remove the lid to all of these. And again, save them in my little bowl because I do use things like this. I don't try to throw anything away unless I know I'm absolutely not going to use it. But for these little lids, I thought, oh, wow, I could use these for so many different projects. So I'm just going to set them aside and save them. But what I decided to do was grab these mason jars and kind of play with them and figure out how I wanted to place them and where to make one larger vase. So what I did was get one of the lids and I glued it to the bottom of my mason jar just to elevate it a little bit more. And then I went ahead and added some fix all glue and hot glue and glued the rest of my mason jars around that uh, elevated mason jar that's going to be in the center. And I lost that footage, so I'm, I apologize for that. But all I did was add some fix all glue and a little bit of hot glue to add that lid to the bottom of my mason jar. And all I'm doing now is again adding some permanent glue and hot glue to add all the little miniature mason jars around that one center one. This project is super easy, but it's so pretty. I did see something like this on um, Anthropology website, but theirs of course was a lot larger but I swear I got the idea to make something like this. So I went ahead and set that aside and allowed it to dry. So for our third project, I grabbed one of these cutting boards and you can use a wooden one or one of these white ones. I believe they even have red ones at Dollar Tree. So just feel free to use whichever color you like. And I'm using one of these plastic mason jars from Dollar Tree as well. I grabbed this uh, paper that's for your, it's like a sticker paper that you could use for wall decals. And I'm going to use just one section of it, just enough to fill in my cutting board. And the way I cut this paper was I just used my little X-Acto knife or box cutter and kind of trimmed it where that line is at in my um, paper just to get that design that I wanted. I wanted it to look more like a tiled uh, backdrop. So that's why I decided to use this kind of paper, but you can use any kind of decal. They have quite a few different ones um, at Dollar Tree or any store that you want to go ahead and purchase this at. So all I did was remove the trimming from this paper just to give it more of a finished look to make it look more like tile. So once I removed all the edging and the trimming, 
I went ahead and placed it over my cutting board just to make sure that I had enough and I knew where I wanted to place it. Then I removed the backing to expose that sticky part. And what I did was add a little bit of super glue along the edge of my cutting board. Then I placed my decal paper right on top, or wallpaper, I guess you could call it, right on top of my uh, cutting board. And just rubbed it down really, really good, making sure that I didn't have any air pockets or anything on there. And then where the little lip is at, I just went ahead and got my knife and just cut off that extra piece. That way it, this um, paper will be only in the center of my cutting board to make it more look like tile. Right now for 2020, I know the kitchen decor is really popular, the blue and white style. So what I decided to do was use a little bit of blue and white along with my lemons because I do have lemon decor in my kitchen. So I decided to add this pop of blue and white into that as well, um, just to give it that more modern style look that's so popular right now. So I removed the edging and this is how it looks now. Now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and grab my super glue. Since this is a plastic uh, mason jar, I'm going to add a little bit of super glue and then hot glue in between to attach it to my cutting board. Just go ahead and set it and center it wherever you like on up above or down below and I just put mine as low as possible. Allow that to dry. Then I grabbed one of these mop heads because I can't find that nautical rope that's white and I wanted some white rope. So I went ahead and just pulled out some of the rope from there my mop head and I wrapped it around the top part of my mason jar, which I should have done before I glued it on, but uh, sometimes I just don't think about things like this until I'm already, I've already done certain things. So yeah, go ahead and wrap this rope around your mason jar before you attach it to your cutting board. It would be a lot easier, but go ahead and attach it to your the top of your mason jar. And then what I did was just grab two more of those pieces of rope and just made a simple knotted bow to attach it to the top of my cutting board. Now this is super adorable and you can use it so many different ways. Um, you can even add wording and add, you know, like uh, save the change or keep the change or, um, you know, anything that you want to add onto this mason jar, a cute little saying on top. You can do that as well. I left mine blank because I am not sure exactly how I'm going to use it. If I'm going to use it as a vase or something to put add change to, or I'm not sure, but let me know if you're going to make this and how you're going to use it. So again, I hope you enjoyed all my DIYs with these little cute mason jars. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. And if you're new or coming from another channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, you guys stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.